Good morning everyone, it's Vanessa from Apple Patch. We're up to blocks 33 and 34. Wow, I can't believe we're um, so far through. So, this week you're going to have one of the triangle blocks where you will add your background fabric to it. And this one uses some flying geese and you're going to construct two flying geese units. So I'll just cover that up for a second. Two flying geese units, you like a square at one end and a half square triangle at the other end. So that makes one row. And then I repeated that to make another row. And then you'll cut a large half square triangle that you'll sew to one of your rows and then you'll sew those together. Oops, there we go, make sure I've got in screen. So the thing to be aware of with this block is you're actually going to be working with slightly different measurements than what you've been working with for most of the other blocks. Um, because this obviously ends up being a triangle, so the measurements are slightly different. And it's not based on a nine patch. So just be aware, um, the instructions will have the measurements, um, but you're not going to actually be working. Um, if, you, if you want to make your flying geese using stitch and flip, um, use the measurements in my instructions. Now, morning to the wise. When you're um, cutting fabric and sewing it together, and I don't know about you, but I tend to go into automatic pilot, especially if I am just chain piecing through. Um, I made one of the flying geese units and then made the uh, chain piece through the second one. And I'm looking at it going, well, that's a bit odd. Why on earth have I got this half inch distance from the top down to where my intersection point is there. That ain't right. Something's gone terribly wrong there, because of course, it should be a quarter of an inch. Anyway, line them up together, put one over the other, and realized I was, oops, let me just line those up where the seams would have been. I am half an inch short. So when I've cut my rectangles for them, from, from my fabric, from this reg fabric, instead of cutting it at um, five inches, I've cut it at four and a half. Missed measurement. Sadly, it does happen. So, um, yeah, poor little flying goose. In, not in the bings, I'll, I'll probably reuse the fabrics, but yeah, miscuts happen to us all. That's why every step that you're going through, just get out your ruler and double check your measurements um, because miscutting happens so easily. Okay, so that's your triangle block. The next one, let me just bring all this over, is this one here. It's called Old Snowflake. Now, it looks really familiar it is a quarter square triangle star, but the four block for four units around the outside have this extra strip inserted. Which is this unit here. And you can see I've inserted a strip. Now that strip is pretty skinny. And if I was to fold my seams to the inside, those seams would actually just touch. So I cut my half square triangles the size shown in the instructions, split them apart, and I've cut my strip a smidge bit longer than it needs to be, so that when I've added it in, I've just trimmed the pointy end. 
So I've lined my ruler up with the edges of my square. Of course, double check that is coming out the correct size. You do not want to use um, quarter inch seams that are on the, uh, the wider side because it won't come out to the right size. You can also overcut or oversize um, your half square triangle units and then trim them back. You've just got to be careful that you keep this strip in the middle. Okay, so um, the rest of that block should be super easy because it is just more quarter square triangles. Now, I don't know how you're going with your fabrics, but I'm just going to lift the camera up a little bit. Do, 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 do. Right. This is still my pile of Tilda scraps in my B group. And I've got about the same size pile still from the A group. Some people I know are running a little, well, kind of running a little bit short of some colours they like using in their blocks. You can still add in more fabrics. It won't hurt. The other thing is once you've made up the center of the quilt, which finishes at 72 inches, um, you can add either just a small border around the outside with whatever background fabric you're using. Um, but then the idea is, if you want to make it that little bit bigger, is the rest of this, or most of it, ends up going into the, the outside border. Because um, obviously we want to use up as much of your fabrics as possible. Lovely pile of fabrics. What do they say? You should never wear a dark top when you're working with light coloured fabrics because they fit everywhere. Okay, have a great day. Hope you enjoy making these blocks. See you later.